Why is Selena not answering my text messages and phone calls? Miss Green, hasn't Sadri and Selena come yet? No, I wanted to ask you where they both are. But what about that Muslim? Unfortunately, you will see him every day. I know how to avoid him. Did you hear me clearly? Who are you that tells me what I have to do and what not? I am Melissa Wilson. If I say you have to do it, then you must. If not, then I will be your nightmare in this school. You don't know me. I am a demon queen. Yeah, right. You don't scare me, bitch. Do your best. What happened to my dad? Is he alright? I am so sorry to tell that, but your dad got a heart attack. And because of the heart attack, he got apoplexy. What does that mean? That means that he can't speak, move, and eat and drink. But will he get well soon? I can't say that, but don't give up to hope. I will explain you in the next time what is to do. How did it happen that he suddenly had a heart attack? Because of too much stress, and he isn't a young man anymore, you should know that. Get well soon for your father. Dad, please don't leave me alone in this world. First my mother left, and then you will go. Did you hear me clearly? I am Alyssa Wilson. If I say you have to do it, then you must. If not, then I will be your nightmare in this school. Yeah, right. You don't scare me, bitch. Do your best. Taka. 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 Oh, did I scare you? No, I was just thinking about the play. Are you alright? You don't look good right now? No, Miss Teacher. I'm just exhausted today, because I couldn't sleep last night, that's all. Alright, you said that, I'm fine now. See you next day. See you. I have to be careful because of Melissa. Taka, you are a really stupid bitch. That slut can't do anything, don't believe that bitch. Why is Selena not answering my text messages and phone calls? I need to talk with Brian right now. Why did he hung up? What is wrong? Oh, I think he is in a situation that he can't talk now. Maybe we can talk tomorrow. What do you want again? What are you doing right now? It's none of your business. Now please go out. I want to sleep now. Do you have sweet things? Fuck off now. Brian, are you alright? Ms. Lum, do you still want to be my best friend, or not? But we are normal school friends. Because I don't know you so much. I met you on Friday. Why did you say that? I thought you don't expect to be friends with anyone anymore. What do you mean Brian? I don't know what you are talking about. No one wants to be friends with you. And that's because you don't expect to make new friends, right? How can you think so? Of course I want to make new friends. Where did you get such a thought from? Where were you yesterday after school? Of course at home, because I waited for you to pick me up, but you didn't come. Wait a minute. But your father yesterday said that you were not home. I can't believe that he did it. Brian, I was all the time at home. But why did he lie to me? I will tell you a little bit of my family, why I don't like them, and they don't like me too. 
Your house looks good, Taka. I love it. I call my house. Tuck as hell. Why Tuck as hell? Does the name of your house have a meaning? Yes, I am a daughter of a demon, and I am a demon queen. Wherever I live, the house or place is always called Tuck as hell. <laughs> Do you always laugh like this? Yes, I am, because I am a depressed bitch, and I am trying to hide my depressed mood. Do you know how? How? Bitch I'm a cow, bitch I'm a cow, I'm not a cat, I don't say no, I do, moo moo. Moo moo, moo moo. Are you alright? How is your mental state now? My mental state is completely broken bitch. Okay, where is your boyfriend? He is currently working, I don't know when he leaves from the bar. He will leave at 7 p.m. How did you know that? Doesn't he work in a bar? Every barkeeper leaves at 7 p.m., right? Yes, you're right. What kind of humans are your family? That is not right, what they did. Yes, Brian, that is my life. But thanks for understanding me. I have to go to the classroom. Okay, Ms. Lum, see you. See you. Good morning, Ms. Lum. Please sit on your desk. Miss Green, hasn't Sadri and Selena come yet? No, I wanted to ask you where they both are. And Ekram is not here either. No, I don't know something about Sadri and Ekram, but I thought Selena is here too. Whatever, please sit down to your desk. We start with the lesson now. Dear students, we start today about something different. We will go for a walk in a forest to see some of the natures. Do we have to do it to get good grades? Yes, of course. We will go on Wednesday for three hours for a walk, and I will ask you some questions. Great. Oh my gosh, I will certainly not waste my time with this woman in the woods for three hours. I will skip school on Wednesday. Yeah, me too. I not only hate biology, but also this ugly old woman. Isabel, did you say something? I didn't say any word. Now please open the book on page 42, and Isabel, please read the text on the bottom. I don't have my book here. Isabel, that is the third time you don't bring that book, I am so sorry but you will get detention from now on. Thank you, Miss Green. What do I have to do in the detention? You have to stay two hours longer in the school today, and I will give you some tasks. You have to do it. Great. Lewis, please read the text on the bottom. Ugh. There are no sweet things either. What should I do now? I hate my life without sweet things. God, what did I do wrong? that I don't deserve sweet things? Maybe I should check mom's room. There will be sweet things. I know that. Dear students, please do your homework on page 43, 44, 46 and 47. Don't do on page 45, because we didn't learn that topic yet. Miss Green, but didn't we learn this topic? Isabel, what are you talking about? We learned it already last week. We learned this topic already? Yes, we learned it twice. Okay, then I will add the page 45 to your homework list now. The lesson is over now. I wish you a great Tuesday. Bitch, let's go to the cafeteria. I am starving right now. Okay, bitch. Don't you want to eat something outside? Oh, right. You don't have any friends and any money left that you can go out and eat with them, right? What are you talking about? Do you want me to bring one ugly student here with something to eat from the cafeteria? Don't worry. You don't have to pay the food back. It's always free for poor people. You both could eat something in front of each other ugly to ugly. <laughs> Piss off now.
Where are you, Selena? Where? What is wrong with you now? Why do you reject my call? No, something must happen to you. Normally you wouldn't act like this. I know you. Bitch, why don't you have makeup on your face? Normally you would have it on your face, and you would have better clothes on. What happened? I'm not in a good mood right now. Why? Just tell me. My dad was brought to the hospital yesterday. What does your dad have now? He can't move and talk anymore. Isabel, may I go with you to your home? I want to see your dad and wish him something good. Yes, you may. I am so sorry for you. Thanks for bringing me here, I missed to drink here. No problem bro, how do you feel now? I am visually happy. That's great bro. Bro, I have to ask you something. Ask me. Will you continue to go to school or will you drop out now? I have to continue, because I need a semester certificate. I found a job, and they need my semester certificate. Great, if you go to school, then I will go too. But what about that Muslim? Unfortunately you will see him every day. I know how to avoid him. We both, you and me, will talk all the time, so that Muslim will think that he should leave us both alone and let us continue to talk. Great idea, yeah, let's do it. What do you want to eat or drink? I want some vodka and orange please. Okay. And I want some white Russian, and a vodka too please. Okay, I will be here in 5 minutes. Let's do it bro, let's drink until we are drunk. Yes bro, let's share some happiness and fun. Dear Taka, it's the Dada's Diner, thank you for your request. You are welcome tomorrow for a job interview at 7am. I am waiting for you. Greetings, Mr. Jeffrey. Finally, I got a job interview. I am so happy. Jeffrey, did you send her your text message? Great, I hope she won't get out of there so easily, so she can't go to the theater. Okay, I will wait for your answer. Bye. I will be your nightmare tacker, I said that to you, so be careful, who you are dealing with you little bitch. I knocked on her door very often, but she doesn't open, so I ask you if you could try it. Yes Ms. Lung, I could try it for you. Thank you so much. I will go home now, and wait for your answer, what is wrong with her, alright? Alright, see you tomorrow. I am so sorry that you can't do anything, I wish you all the best. How are you right now? I'm so sorry, I know now, how you feel. I have to go now, my mom's calling me home. I wish you all the best, be brave. Who are you? I am Brian, I am Ms. Lum's school friend, he wanted to know, why you didn't come to the school, and why you didn't answer his phone calls, he worries about you. Excuse me, are you alright? Yes, I am, I just couldn't come to school because I was in a deep sleep and I couldn't hear my phone. Oh, okay, thanks for your answer, I will tell that to him. Goodbye. Good night. Damn. That Brian is really cute. I like him. Now I know that he is Muslim's school friend and goes to our school. I think I will come tomorrow to the school to see Brian again. Thank you for coming here, 
I am so glad to see you finally. Thanks. So, what are your hobbies? I love cooking so much, at the same time to clean up everything. It makes me so happy. Of course, I like also make some graphic designs and drawing in my free times. Great, I'll hire you, and from tomorrow you can work. But I didn't tell you something more about me. No no, that's okay. Tomorrow is your first day here. You will begin from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. I am so happy now, thank you. See you tomorrow. That is so weird, I thought you will ask me the same shit questions, like other companies do normally. Whatever, now I can be happy to work there. I want to earn money so bad. Today's task is about daily routines and team groups. Every group has two students. Isabel, please select your partner. Of course I will select Lisa my bitch. Good. Thanks bitch, I love you. I love you too, my bitch. Sadri, please select your partner. I want Akram as my partner. Alright Sadri, Maslam, please select your partner. I select Jimmy. Good. So Valerie, Thomas and Nora will be a group of three partners. So please listen to me guys. One partner of the group will ask his or her another partner how their daily routine looks like. It can be in the school time, or in the weekend, or whatever. And everyone has to take some notes, and everyone would present their daily routines in front of the class. Alright? Bitch, take a look at the clothes from Ekram and Sadri. Their clothes are exactly the same colors that we both wear. Is that a coincidence? <laughs> yes, you are right. It must be a coincidence. <laughs> Do we have today a funeral or something? I don't know, but we have to tell that to Ikram and Sadri. Yes, of course. Bitch, look at that ugly Muslim. We bet that he wanted Sadri on his team, right? We can see his face from here perfectly. His ugly face looks disappointed right now. <laughs> I don't know who trashed our living room yesterday. If that Muslim did this, because he has to live with us again, then I will kill that piece of shit. Did he really do this, you think? Exactly. Who else would do this? I don't know. Maybe we should ask Nicholas, if he knows something about it. Where is he? Is he sleeping in his room? No, he is in the living room right now. Go and ask him now. Nicholas, your father and I were yesterday in another city, and when we came back everything was destroyed here. Do you know who did this? I don't know, I was just sleeping deep, I didn't hear something. Then I woke up and saw the living room trashed, and I was shocked. Maybe there were some burglars? But our house is safe against burglars, it can't be possible. What about that ugly Maslam? He also has a house key. What are you telling me? Why should he do that? I think it's because you forced him to stay here, or you will let arrest his girlfriend. So he was angry and destroyed our living room. Oh my god, that really makes sense. You are right. I will kill that piece of shit with my own hands, then I will ground him for three weeks. Okay. Thank you for helping me find it out. You will get some sweet things from me now. Thank you so much mommy. I am waiting now. Wait here, I will bring them now. Well Nicholas, you did it great, your plan didn't go down. That ugly Maslum should suffer this time. It's his turn to suffer now. I can't wait to get some sweet things. I love them so much. I think it's the best day in my life. Good morning Brian. Good morning Selena. What are you doing here? I am waiting for Ms. Lum. I want to go out with him after school. It was my last lesson. Great. 
Since when do you know Ms. Loom? I know him since 8 months. He is really cool. He helps me all the time, if I need some help. That's great to have such a nice friend. Does he help you with your problems or something, if you have some problems? Yes of course, he always listens to me, and I am doing that same to him. I understand his problems, and he understands my problems. That's great, you are lucky to have him as a best friend, who listens to you, and help you. Yes, thanks. Damn, he looks so fucking cute, I think I'm in love in this boy. Man, I wish I could kiss him now. Selena looks really sweet, her voice, her character, her kindness. I like her. I don't know if she has a boyfriend. Nice to see you again, Ms. Lum, do you want to go now? Yes, Brian, but please wait here 10 minutes. I have to eat something in the cafeteria. I am starving right now. Okay, I am waiting here for you. Thank you.